Chapter 9 Intersection of Line and the Plane Determine point of intersection between line and the plane, if any. So the line is x minus 1 divided by 4 equals to y plus 2 over minus 1 equals to z minus 3. And the plane is 2x plus 3y plus z plus 15 equals to 0. Now, the idea is to plug in the value of x from here into this equation, but you know, it's like this equal to this equal to this, like what? So what we will do is we can substitute all this as let's say equal to some parameter t, right? In that case, we can write x, y, and z in terms of t, and then we plug in the value in the plane Cartesian form and find the value of t. So we'll do that. So here we can write if I write x minus 1 over 4 equals to t, let me write x minus 1 over 4 equals to t, right? That means x is equals to 4t plus 1. And similarly, if I write y plus 2 over minus 1 equals to t, then y is equals to minus t minus 2, correct? And if I write z minus 3 equals to t, in that case z is equals to t plus 3, correct? So we can plug in these values in our equation uh, and then find what should be the value of t, right? So the equation is 2 times x, so we say 2 times x and x is 4t plus 1, so x is 4t plus 1, uh, plus 7 times y, which is minus t minus 2 plus z which is t plus 3 uh, plus 15 equals to 0 correct so we can solve this so from here we get 2 times 4 is 8t plus 2 plus uh, well this is minus 70 minus 14 and this will be t plus 3 plus 15 equals to 0, right? So 8t minus 70 is 1t, 1t plus t is 2t, right? So we get 2t. And as far as numbers are concerned, we get 2 minus 14 is minus 12, and minus 12 plus minus 12 minus 12 well, minus 12 plus 13 is 3 plus, and 3 plus 3 is 6, right? So we get 6 here equals to 0. Okay, so 2t plus 6 equals 0. Therefore, t is equals to minus 6 divided by 2, which is minus 3. So from here, we get t equals to minus 3. Now we can plug in this t of minus 3 here and find the value of x, y, and z, right? So let's do that part. So what we are trying to do here is, so from here, we went to this side, right? And now we got t equals to minus 3, right? So we'll plug in this value of t equals to minus 3 here. So we get t equals to minus 3, right? So we'll write t equals to minus 3 here, and we get x value. x will be equals to 4 times minus 3 is minus 12 plus 1, which is minus 11. And if I write minus 3 here, I get plus 3, right? Minus 2, which is plus 1. And if I write minus 3 here, I get minus 3 plus 3, which is 0. And therefore, the point of intersection is, from here very clearly, minus 11, 1, and 0. So that is our answer as point of intersection, okay? So the trick over here is, when you get a symmetric equation, equate it to a parameter and take the help of parameter to find the point. Okay, I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you.